Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving the default radon Wattman settings have been restored due to unexpected system failure. So this is a graphics issue that's related to the AMD radon graphics cards on their computer. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle, and we're going to jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in device manager, best match to go back with device manager, so go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the display adapter section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down for that. And now whatever's displayed under here, you want to right click on it, left click on the driver, select search automatically for updated driver software. And then you can also try searching for updated drivers through Windows Update. I will also have a link to AMD's website that you can actually go ahead and download driver software. So it should be able to search for your product and then go ahead and actually download driver software from there as well. So again, I will have that in the description of the video. So definitely would suggest checking that out. Another thing you can try if you close out of here, open up the start menu, type in control panel. Select that. And now you want to go select the view by section up at the top. Select large icons. And then go locate power options. Left click on that. Left click on the option where it says choose what the power button does. And if there's an option for fast startup, you want to uncheck the box so underneath shutdown settings. If there's a fast startup option, uncheck it and then left click on save changes. So just giving you guys another method out there as well. So basically I would suggest going and downloading the updated driver software through AMD's website, which I'll have a link to in the description if the methods I showed were not successful. And hopefully by installing a fresh new driver update that should be able to resolve the problem. And also one more thing, if you are overclocking your GPU, there's also a decent chance that that could be creating some issues for you as well. So consider avoiding overclocking your GPU and see if that will resolve the problem as well. So that just gives you another method on top of all this to consider. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.